the macho stun, the macho stun. God, Joe Macho is our first champion. He's the first Pentagon Wrestling Champion. I can't believe it. I mean, I knew I'd get it. You knew I'd get it. Rocket Boy, I think he figured out that I'd get it. Two times, but the third time just wasn't the charm for Rocket Boy. He just... Tonight. PWF comes back with a smack. Tonight, we fight. This is Pentagon Fight Night. We welcome you to our new indoor venue while winter strikes. Aw oh, man, do we have a show for you. Rocket Boy. Second chances aren't given often. And tonight I'm taking my second chance and I'm gonna blast off. It will take on Dash Bullock. I don't like to fight. I like to hurt people in a submission match to determine the number one contender for the Pentagon Wrestling Championship. That number one contender will face Joe Macho later tonight in a knockout match for said championship. So, without any further ado, let's fight! There's gonna be a fight tonight! Hello everyone, I'm Ian Hutch, and it is that time again. Yes, 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 we are back. Yes, 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 we are back. It is time for another PWF live event. And I don't want to keep you waiting any longer than I already have, so I'm just going to try to cut this short. Back in the wintertime, we posted on the page, and I even made a video about it, that we would return while winter strikes, we would return if we could find an indoor venue, and we have found an indoor venue, and it is the Pentagon Arena. That is where the event is taking place tonight. And of course, you've known the card through all the promos. Rocket Boy will take on Dash Bullock in a submission match to determine the number one contender for Joe Macho's Pentagon Wrestling Championship. The problem is to get that championship, of course, you gotta go through the Pentagon Wrestling Champion, Joe Macho. And the number one contender, you're going to face him tonight. One of those two men will face Joe Macho tonight in a knockout match for the Pentagon Wrestling Championship. Hopefully one of them can knock him out and we can see a new champion here tonight. Anyways, I suppose I've kept you waiting long enough. Like I said, I didn't want to keep you waiting any more than I already have. So tonight, PWF comes back with a smack. Tonight, we fight. PWF comes back with a smack. Tonight, we fight! This is Pentagon Fight Night. We welcome you to our new indoor venue while winter strikes. Oh man, do we have a show for you. Rocket Boy will take on Dash Bullock in a submission match to determine the number one contender for the Pentagon Wrestling Championship. That number one contender will face Joe Macho later tonight in a knockout match for said championship. On top of that, we have a new Pentagon wrestler making his debut right here tonight. So, without any further ado, let's fight! contest is a submission match. In this match, pinfalls do not matter. The only way to win is by making your opponent submit. In other words, tap out. Introducing first, from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 115 pounds, Rocket Boy. Well, here we go. Rocket Boy, very energized, very fired up, very driven as he is. Getting ready for his match, we have not seen 
Daddy Bullock since his match with Rocket Boy, and I'm ready to see him again as Rocket Boy looks to be. Let's go, Bullock! Already asking him to come out. Very normal on the part of Rocket Boy. Very fired up. He's just ready to wrestle. And we're ready to see him wrestle. Here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not Dash Bullock. That's not the music of Dash Bullock. What's he doing? That is Joe Macho. What is he doing? What's he going to do? What does he want? Oh, here he is. Whoa, a big sack of weapons there. What's he going to do here? What do you mean? I knocked him out! Wait, what? Hold up! Okay, this is a little ridiculous, okay? Joe Macho just took out another one of his opponents. Did he see Dash Bullock as a threat? Is that why he did this? This is the second time he's pulled this. Oh my god, this is disgraceful. This means we're not going to see Dash Bullock wrestle tonight. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is absurd. What is going to happen now? Who's going to face for the championship? I guess we'll find out, and I guess the only way to find out is to... Resume, so go ahead and resume, but I just, this just really pisses me off. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, no, 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 no. Macho stun, macho stun, macho stun. No, 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 no. Down goes Rocket Boy, the vicious macho stun. A diabolical macho stun from Joe Macho. What is this? A submission hold. Come on. Who's gonna wrestle tonight? Just making him tap out. This is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I can't expect any more from Joe Macho at this point, but come on. Who's facing for the championship? Well, it looks like there's not going to be any uh, main event tonight. Um, Joe Macho is still the champion, better than all of you pussy feathers. Rocket Boy doesn't deserve, once again, to fight me. Dash Bullock, as I said, knocked out. What the hell did I do with that water bottle? There it is. I don't know if any of you know me, but you should. My name is Joe Macho. As I stated, I am, of course, the reason you are all here. The gorgeous, handsome reason you're all here. How are you all doing? And since there's not going to be a main event, I'll just keep talking until you all start to leave. Y'all could leave something in the donation bin. I mean, that thing's empty. What the hell's wrong with all of you? I'm broke. We've been training for years. <laughs> Very broke. They stole us when we... They stole us from the high mountains of Catan, and they brought us down and trained us to be professional wrestlers. That, of course, is bullshit. Um, really, we're just a bunch of boys that got together and started beating the crap out of each other because we... Well, one of us wants to vote for Bernie Sanders, another is Hillary Clinton. One of us is a Donald Trump boy. I'll give you a hint, he's the right vote. And that's kind of Somebody why stop I this. Knock out Rocket Boy. Because. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what is this? What the hell is that? John Cena! You shut up! <laughs> Whoa! What do we got here? A Lucha Superstar? What is this name? What is this? Who the hell are you? El Uno Esqualido. El Uno Esqualido? Uh, what, what is going on here? Everyone speaks Spanish. Is this guy facing for the championship? I suppose we needed a championship oh, match, fine. but... What in the world? Oh my goodness, can it be? Can it be? <laughs> is it really? You're not back. It is! No. Ben Chita Workman! Ben Chita Workman, bad blood with Joe Macho. 
This contest is scheduled for knockout. The way to win this match is to incapacitate your opponent for 10 seconds on the floor. Any effort to hit him while he is on the floor registers in a recount. So, make this a great fight because I want to be entertained. Winner gets the PWF Championship right here. I threw it to them. They should have kept it. Why did you throw it on the ground? What's wrong with you? Ladies and gentlemen, hope you survive. Well, this could be interesting. Ben Cheat, Todd Workman, the special guest referee. I guess this match is underway with this random no-namer from the back facing up against Joe Macho. Oh, my God. We got to take a look at that again. And an elbow drop from Macho, but let's take a look at this again. Starting off the match already with just a relentless slam onto the canvas and the spinal cord to Esqualito. What a way to start the match. And now Macho with those forearms. And like I was trying to say before, Jay Todd Workman, we've not seen him since it was reported that Joe Macho had taken him out of the tournament. So this could be interesting. Obviously, some some really bad blood between the two of these men. This could be interesting seeing him as this special guest referee, but hey, I'm Jeff. happy to see him. How's this look on me? Not very well. Good, ref. Oh, yeah? How's it look on you? Well, some trash talk going on between the referee and Macho. And Macho looking... With those forearms to the skull, once again, down goes Esqualito. And Esqualito trying to get the better of it as down goes, as down goes Macho. Oh, he's got a chair. What's he doing here? He's got a chair. Oh, definitely putting that chair to good use. The first weapon being used in this match. No disqualification. You gotta take advantage of that. One. Recount. One. Two. He's up. Down goes Esqualito. Oh my goodness. Down he goes again. No, 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 no. No, 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 not again. That chair being put to good use by Giomachi. You better believe that weapons are going to be a vital part of this match. That can be a vital part of knocking your opponent out. My God, to the kneecaps of Esqualito now. And now back on his One. back. Two. And Che Ta doing a count and here. Recount. One. But now a recount Three every time again. you... One. Two. Getting tired of your shit. Three. And an another recount. One. Two. The thing is, when you engage in physical Three. combat, the referee is forced to restart the count. Esqualito getting dragged back in, and now the chair. Oh, no, 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 not this, not this. You gotta be kidding me. Esqualito getting out of the way at the last second. That could have been bad. Nice job. But recovery very swell at the last second. Asking him, please, please. Asking him just to, you know, he can't just breath. But Esqualito showing no mercy as well. Esqualito putting up a good fight. Double strike from Esqualito and quickly countering. As Che Ta hands him a chair. Oh! What? Che Ta definitely showing some favorites in this match. Three, and a little bit of a fast five. count there, but oh! Esqualito One. counter him with a chair. Two. Well, I don't know this kid very well, but he's definitely got Four. some fight in him, and look at this taunt. Doing a little dance Six. for the crowd here, Esqualito. Eight. Well, I don't know this kid. He's a no name for the back. Oh my god, Alabama Slamma from Joe Macho. Crutch! And look at that, he's got a crutch. Crutch Joe, being Joe, used by Joe up. Macho. Very, um, <clears throat> very interesting weaponry being used in this match. He's got a crutch. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh my god, that is a skull. Stop it. Oh no, 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 no. That is, that is a gigantic, <laughs> a gigantic shoe. Like I said, some very interesting weaponry. A gigantic shoe being used in this match. And now Joe Macho countering with the ankle lock here. I can't count if he holds on. Well, I'm not holding on, so I'm counting. And Chi Todd telling him he can't count if he holds on. Three, but now starting the count. Four. Five. Six. Now what is this? He's got some sort of metal stick. Now using that on Esqualito. My goodness. Well, I can't get on Macho about this one. I mean, weapons, weapons are weapons, and they're there for a reason, so... But oh my god, Irish whip! Irish whip into that pole there. 
And Esqualito trying to fight back with everything he's got. Using those those those, uh, those punches. Those counters. And Macho with a counter of his own there. And now Cheta got the shoe. This ginormous shoe once again. Oh my good, that's a whip. That is a whip. Macho using his belt as a whip. He's used this against Cheta. Oh my, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I understand he's a little biased, but he's, he's using... He's using the shoe, and he just knocked Macho down. You still got to be fair, referee. I mean, but now counting both men out. Esqualito quickly getting to his feet, as well as Macho. Macho uh, holding his crotch there. Oh, my goodness. Slamming him into the post there. Making sure he stays down. And now a knee to the head. Buzzsaw kick! Buzzsaw kick, and now coming up the crowd, let's take a look at that again. A buzzsaw kick with El Uno Esqualito, made famous in Japan. The buzzsaw kick right to the chest of Macho, and then watch this, watch this. He turns around and pumps up the crowd. What seemed like a golf clap was still our live, incredible, very enjoyment audience here tonight. Audience is very much into it. Esqualito leaping with joy. The kid's got some taunts, I'll give him that. Now throwing in the shoe is Cheetah. One, two, Asking him to count here. Three, four, five. Six, he asking him to hurry up. Seven, eight. Macho struggling to get to his nine, feet. But he just he just makes the count there. We could have seen Esqualito was our new champion. Can you imagine that? But it could happen. This no neighbor could make his debut and be our new champion, and Macho counters with the belt. What is this? Is that his necklace? His necklace! He's wrapping the necklace around the knuckles of Joe Macho and now using it against the cranium. Against the cranium of Alono Esqualito. And now wrapping it around his ankle. Whoa, well, where are the fucking rules? Well, we, we do apologize for the language of Joe Macho here, but down he goes, and now he's got him in a headlock. What is this? Esqualito looking to have the best of this. Look at this. Oh my god, he's got him in a, what appears to be an arm bar. Esqualito's got Macho in an arm bar, but quickly countering out of it because, like we said, you cannot count if you are holding on. It's got to be quick combat strikes here. And Esqualito quickly getting up and using the shoe as his <laughs> redeem. And his recover. But he gets what? sent back down with authority from Macho. Three, and Macho using the four, wooden stick. Well, it looks like some sort of five, walking stick. But no, six, he says not that. And now back with the seven, steel chair. Ankles. Targeting the ankles and the foot and the lower two, limbs of El Uno Esqualito. No, Esqualito barely ducking. Once again, just trying to stay alive. He's still got a lot of fight left in him. I'll four, give the kid that. He's a no-neighbor, but five, so far he's... He's proven me wrong. I had some doubts about him just walking in just because he was last minute. But he could be out here, and Macho could retain the championship. And Esqualito just barely getting to his feet. And now, making sure he strikes back with everything he's got right against Macho. And Macho going against the wall. What is this? Irish whip. And look at the... Whoa! Esqualito, very innovative move. Irish whip, backwards, somersault, and quickly countering with the kick to the chest. Very innovative. I like it. And now he looks to be dragging Joe Macho out of the ring, but he quickly gets dragged back in by the force, the sheer force of Macho. Macho striking again with another punch. Targeting the head and lower limbs. And look at this! Out of the Pentagon Arena, into the car. It counts. He's down, can't you see? No, his legs are on the floor of the Whoa. car. This guy doesn't know anything. Well, a little argument, and once again, a lot of back sass going on between these competitors. Macho throwing Esqualito into the car outside of the Pentagon backyard here, into the parked car of one of the audience members as they go back into the wow, Pentagon really? arena. And down he goes onto the canvas. A lot of backsides going on between these two gentlemen. Wait a minute. Macho stun. Macho stun. This could be it right here. My God. Macho stun. Very well done, but it could very well be it. We got a different camera angle on this. A macho stun. Macho stun. And as much as I hate to say it, Macho could retain One, his championship right here. Two. Three. Come on, Esqualito. Get up. Four. 
I don't want to say it, but this Five. this could very well be. We've never seen Six. anyone get up from the macho stun. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Your winner. And just like that, <laughs> macho is the new is the still. Macho. Oh my god! Ben Chita quickly countering. Macho picks up the victory, but Ben Chita, after his duties as a referee, keeps striking. Now both men are down. Well, what's going on here? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Very interesting choice of words there from Chita. And once again, Macho got the victory, but what an incredible matchup we witnessed. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't trust this for one second. No, no, no. He's done this before. Don't trust it, Esqualio. No, not again. Macho stun. Macho stun. No. Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. A sick human being. Again with a tra now trash can on the gut of Esqualito. And not getting the corner cone. This is very... This might as well be his post-match ritual at this point. This is ridiculous. It's the second time he's done that. What, just to prove a point? Now putting the corner cone on, on Esqualito's head. Oh, my God. He's like, oh, my God. Disgraceful behavior on the part of Joe Macho, just like always. Got to have the last word. Gotta prove a point. Well, let's take a look back at this matchup despite what we just saw. Let's take a look back at it again. It was an incredible matchup as we saw. First of all, again, an unexpected twist of turns. I mean, we have yet to have one PWF live event where everything goes as planned. An unexpected twist of events happened right here when we thought it was going to be Rocket Boy versus Dash Bullock as advertised. But Joe Macho came out to say he's not coming out, that he knocked out Dash Bullock himself. And once again, this pissed me off, but getting in his face there, telling me knocked him out, and it was at that moment we knew we weren't going to be seeing Dash Bullock in the main event tonight. We weren't sure if we were going to be seeing Rocket Boy in it either until this. This macho stun did the job and made us lose all hope. A macho stun sent Rocket Boy crashing along with all his dreams of becoming the champion tonight. And he gets thrown into a submission hold here from Joe Macho. And I'm not even going to say my opinion on this because you know my opinion on this man. It's just... It's revolting at this point. It's time for a change. I, I Making a Rocket Boy tap out. There he goes. He taps out. and It was at this moment right here. Rocket Boy was not going to be in the main event. But it made us wonder who was going to be in the main event. As Macho throws him out here. Oh my goodness. Out he goes. Out goes Rocket Boy. And it made us be very much disappointed in Joe Macho as... as as well as the main event. But then we weren't exactly sure what was gonna happen, and then Macho flapped his gums for what felt like an hour until this happened. This newcomer, this no-namer, came out and popped out of nowhere from the backstage area, known as El Uno Esqualito. Like I said, a Lucha superstar he appears to be. We gotta get a background on this guy. Phenomenal performer here tonight. And then, if the... If this unpredictable twist of events couldn't get any better, we then found this out. Not only was there going to be a new challenger for the championship that was unheard of, but then the special guest referee was going to be none other than Ben Cheetah Workman as he comes out strutting along. And of course, bad blood in the match starting out with this. No remorse, no relentless, no relent from Joe Macho. Absolutely relentless. Complete carnage on the spinal cord of Esqualito as the match starts out like that as he goes thundering down on the canvas. And that's how the match started. But this kid had a lot of fight in him, and this was the part where you needed to turn your kid's head away because we could have witnessed a severe concussion right there. And a double strike from Esqualito as he rolls back out of the way and quickly counters back up. This kid, I'm going to say it over and over, put up a fight. And he also put up a little bit of a performance here as he did this little bit of a taunt, this little... Heritage dance, it seemed like, but then Rocket Boy, <laughs> Rocket, Rocket Boy, Joe Macho stopped it right away as he came down with this Alabama Slammer. And you see his back spasm off the canvas, and you see his back being put through a lot of punishment here tonight. And then the crutches, interesting weaponry being used, like I said, the crutches were used, and then this ginormous shoe. Have you ever seen a shoe that big? No, no one has. And to be used. 
see it used as a wrestling weapon, that was unheard of. And then this was the part that really inspired me. This was the part that really interests me. Throwing him into an Irish whip, a backwards somersault, and then right at the timing. Very innovative, very interesting, creative move from Esqualito as he counters right at the right time with that kick to the chest. I hope we see more of this kid in the future, because this kid has a bright future ahead of him. Although we lost this championship match, I wish to see more of them. And then the fight went out of the Pentagon Arena when Macho threw him in the car and Cheta refused to count this. And then we took it back in for one final for one final move, and this was the move that ended it all, as it has every single time. Macho hit him with that Macho stun, and that was all she wrote. Well, unfortunately, we did not see a new champion crowned like I had hoped. Unfortunately, Joe Macho retained his championship. The question is, at this point, will someone take the championship away from Joe Macho? Because this is the second time he's pulled that shtick. Two live events in a row, he's pulled that shtick. He's beat the living crap out of his opponents and then continued to go for it after the match. Excuse my language, but that's just how I feel right now. Anyways, beyond all that, I think it was a great match. Despite the fact that there was some biased refereeing and some unfair judgment on both parts, on both competitors. But it was a great match. I think it was a great event. This has been Pentagon Fight Night, and we sure have witnessed a fight. Stay tuned to Pentagon Wrestling Federation, because of course we got more footage and we got more events coming in the future. One more thing. We'd like to pay homage to Danko Jones for our theme song. The official theme song for Pentagon Fight Night, Gonna Be a Fight Tonight by Danko Jones.